años te traemos The Armory Arts Week. Después de la apertura, te invito a que juntos disfrutemos del mayor evento de la semana, de Armory Show, y si todavía no lo hiciste, te puedes suscribir a Cosmo Arte TV para participar de esta cita con el arte todos los jueves. Joana, thank Hi. you so much for receiving us. My and, pleasure. Uh, we would like to know a little more about okay. uh, these pieces by Nick Cave, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Nick Cave, who we've been working with for many, many years. Uh, these are called Sound Suits. He's a Chicago-based artist. Uh, he's been living in Chicago for a really long time. Um, he's most known for these kind of human-like figures, but they're kind of these sculptures that are technically wearable. He does sometimes perform in the suits, but they're, they're known for these kind of costumes that cover ethnicity, social, you know, background and kind of turn you into this uh, super galactic kind of like super being. Actually, this is the artist. This is Karen Sander. It's a self-portrait of her. It is uh, done as a 3D scan and then afterwards printed with a 3D printer. So the first step of the process is that the human person goes into a scanning machine and afterwards um, the sculpture is done by a, by a machine again. You have to think about it as like a 21st century type of a portrait in a new sense. And um, actually Karen is a conceptual artist, so her idea was also to shift the authorship away from the artist herself to the person. This is a project that I have started uh, almost uh, 20 years ago and um, it uh, f uh, started very uh, um, basic and now it developed where I was really interested in that colors as well as stars are connected with each other so that it becomes a really kind of three-dimensional photography and uh, that's what you see here now. Um, it is uh, a 10 second scan and uh, these data get transferred to a 3D inkjet printer and the printer uh, builds the figure up in layers, in 10 uh, millimeter layers and color and form comes together uh, to that extent. What could you tell us about this piece? Who is the artist? Which is his background? Okay, um, his name is Taeyun Kim. He's a Korean artist, and he was actually an advertiser. So he used to for advertising company, doing a lot of um, creative work for the company. He come, came out of the company maybe three years ago, and he decided to become an artist a couple of years ago. And he's been working with us since. This particular piece uh, has to do with uh, Twitter. So he chose the word. Hum and um, and whenever those words appear in Twitter, gets a little sign through the computer and then projects these images. And, but it has quite a kind of uh, complex story. And since it's very new, I, I just got the text which Oh, wow, it. first hand material. <laughs> explains the whole piece. Two pieces are this one from Lucio Fontana and the work is date back to the 65 and this one is Andy Warhol and it was done in 1981 and in this booth we decided to create a dialogue, a dialogue with these two masters uh, of the past years with the Scott Short who is an American painter.
like to ask you about this particular structure for the booth that is very unusual to see in a fair. What, what are, who is the artist and which is the meaning behind this uh, design? The artist is Serge Landjeka, a young 30-year-old artist who lives and works in South Africa. And Serge Land's work deals with like, issues of migration and immigration and borders and the impossibility of, of, of crossing borders for migrant workers. Y así terminamos nuestro capítulo de hoy. Te vuelvo a ver el próximo jueves y no olvides suscribirte a Cosmoarte TV. Chao, chao.